Hey, you want to hear about an anime about a high school and gang wars? And a main protagonist that just wants to talk to a pretty girl but finds out that her big brother is part of the gang that's circling the school that he now just transferred to. And also, did I mention there are genies involved as well? Well, get ready for this anime route of Bunchi Chiku and roll the intro. Welcome back to another anime review, and here I am reviewing the anime that has caught my eye for quite some time. Um, it's called Bujiji Gure, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and basically, we have our main protagonist, the guy in the middle underneath the gold lettering. Um, he is one of the main characters that we're following. His name is um, Tanjiro, not Tanjiro, Tomashibo Arijun. And basically, Minato Kai and, a sim and the Sigma Squad and two of the rival gangs at the school that he goes to are imbued in a bitter power struggle. And as a transfer student, he has no interest in getting involved, but his priority is finding a girlfriend. Fortunately for him, he's placed next to Mara Jin, the prettiest girl in the class, who also seems to like him. However, she has an older, protective older brother named Mirato. And um, none other than the combat leader of Sigma Squad. Moreover, Ajin Regan was child hood best friend Makira Azme spells trouble since Makira is also part of the Matokai another gang of the school and with his right and luck he actually awakens the genie Sene known as the Haku person from age 11 and Sene takes a shine to him for the young man's aspiration despite that he only wants to get a girlfriend and do guy things but while he might want to flee from the fight for our transfer student Sene lends him his power to help the lovesick boy hold his own against the lovely power struggle gangs that are involved in school um and although both gangs are piqued interest in him especially for the Majikai sigma and the other gang have now piqued interest in him because he has combatantly um shown this power that he didn't have before and the gangs try to recruit him and as this turf war heats up with a third gang joining the frame audrey's involvement may be unavoidable and surprisingly, with this anime only having like 13 episodes and its original series, its comedy, its fantasy, themes are delinquent in school, it's pretty interesting. It's an interesting concept, especially when you have the third uh, gang into the mix. Because, you know, you see Sigma Squad, you see he and Guess, which was one is the pretty girl's brother. Yeah, there's the one with the green hair. That's her brother, her older protector brother. And it's kind of interesting to see like these three gangs. They have their colors, they have their little mascot. And you want to know what that third group is that helps imbue with this, this turf war because you know we have manga mito kai is blue sigma squad that is gr brightly yellow and then we have the ng boys so you can see that they're, they're they have a unicorn for the icon but these are the three gangs that are help holding a tight tight power struggle along the school and they don't care who up harm come in danger so that was it was very interesting to watch and as much as it's seen, the plot's very simple. The protagonist is very simple and stupidity and it's all given right. But given a lot of it, a lot of it just for the charm of the show. Is the art style is really cool and the fight scenes are well done. You know, it has its own comic relief that it needs to be. But like the genies, I were not expecting the genies that they had here in this show. But definitely check out uh, Buji Gira. Um, let me know what you think. If you like a school like slowly like power struggle in a high school fight, definitely check it out. This anime is definitely for you. I give this a 6.6 6 out of 10. And definitely check it out if you want to learn more. And I'll see you soon with another anime review. Until then, bye.